As most of you have already realized, there is such a wonderful power in breath work. Through the breathing techniques, we can really not only start to make the body yeah, the physically more strong, healthy, relaxed, empowered, but also very much, of course, the mind. We can start to, like a kind of medication, a cleaning up process for the mind if it's troubled, if the emotional system is blocked, if we carry certain traumas in our life. All of these things can be released, can be cleansed, can be taken out of our system by doing all this wonderful breath work, right? So, breath work and meditation, because they really have to go together, can work like a medication that the world needs now more than ever. Right? Especially nowadays we see how important it is to have a good immune system and we try to fix basically a, a, a human disease that there is at the moment which is basically a cause of really wrong ways of living that we have become so mentally and physically weak our immune system so low that we try to fix it with all sorts of things but it's not really working because the cure has to come from within right so therefore breath work can also really really help to bring the cure that the world needs so much for both the mental and the physical ailment that is there now there are many many different breathing techniques and some of the breathing techniques they are much about uh, the strengthening and i've talked a lot about that in other sessions as well it's very much about the strong breathing technique to on a kind of grass level start to work really to get blockages out of the system to energize to release a lot of stuff and other breathing techniques to more harmonize and calm down and slower breathing techniques and all of these things are really super important they are both important to learn both the strong and the subtle breathing techniques and for those of you who have already done some of my courses especially the breath is life course the um, pranayama and breath work and meditation course you have learned that there has to be a balance in both the strong and the calm breathing techniques now once you start to feel that okay i have felt how breath work has really empowered my own life how it has healed how it has cured certain things in my life and now i can start to feel I, I i can share this knowledge i want to help also others because that is very important when we want to become a breathwork teacher that the intention is really to that you want to share your knowledge you want to share what you have what you have found so you have found the wonderful benefits of breath work of meditation and then you have it and then you want to share this right and this is something very important that it is not about oh i want to find a nice simple way to become rich or to make money or to work from home and and uh, uh, just in an easy way just um, tell other people what to do with breath work and then i receive some money that should not be the intention that should never be the intention in life that it's just about money it, the intention should be pure it should come from the heart that you really feel like hey i want to share what i have found in life and in this case the wonderful benefits of breath work and meditation right and this is also very important when we want to become a good teacher that you start to teach from what you really know what you really have experienced and not just what you have read somewhere or the, all the information you have gathered with your mind but you have not really felt it you have not really experienced it but to become a good teacher you have to have really experienced all these things and therefore in the breadwork course that i teach in four weeks or longer if you prefer you go through a whole process of getting to know all these techniques on a deeper level both the strong and the subtle techniques about 14 different techniques and to really get to know a bit yourself was like okay what is happening when i do strong breathing techniques what is happening with my state of mind what is happening with my state of emotion if emotions are being released or the mind gets a bit agitated how can i deal with it how can i start to open up and let the healing process happen 
And how can you start to work with the slower breathing techniques to kind of smoothen everything, to calm everything down? Because this is very important as well. So that in this way you start to use the breath work, the different breathing techniques as a kind of tools. For some tools you need a hacksaw, but for other tools you need a, a very small screwdriver, right? You cannot fix uh, something that needs to be screwed on with a, with a hacksaw or a hammer or something like that. You need a screwdriver for that. The same goes for all the mental and physical ailments and diseases that we have. There are different tools to work with and you really have to learn this on a profound level and get to know them. And then you have a toolbox full of wonderful tools that you can start to create some uh, good healing in other people's lives as well. Right? So therefore, uh, like I mentioned, it is important to for at least four weeks, uh, that is how long that uh, breathwork uh, instructor course that I is going to take that for four weeks you really dive into the practice that every day twice a day you're going to do a lot of breath work yourself but also writing things down like okay what is still blocking me in my own life how can I start to manifest things in my life how can I start to become a good teacher a pure teacher with a good intention and how can you start to recognize in other people if there needs some things uh, to be kind of tuned again in the mind or the emotional system and like that really getting to know the practice, getting to know how to work with people and creating some wonderful sessions which can really change other people's lives as well. But like I mentioned first, it's important to heal yourself. And then when you felt the wonderful benefits and you've been healed, you can start healing others as well, mentally and physically. Right? So therefore I would highly recommend, uh, of course, to check out on the website Yoga Lab dot com yoga lab with a p from the life awareness project that you can check out all the things there and at the end of this uh, session there will also be a video in which i explain more about that course but it will be so beneficial even if you are not really planning to become a breathwork instructor that it was so it will be so beneficial to learn all about these different breathing uh, techniques on a more deeper level and like I mentioned before, breath work and meditation, uh, yoga, qigong, all these things, it, it, it's, it's the future. Because people start to realize they cannot be so much dependent anymore on outside things of creating health in their life. Depending on medication, depending on um, all sorts of of um, yeah, the, the chemicals trying to get into the body to create healing when the healing has to come from within. And I will explain that a lot as well on the basis of many, many, many diseases, of almost all diseases, is a disturbed mind or emotional system. That goes both directly when the mind is very tensed in the mind uh, or in the heart there's a lot of pain or trauma there's this tension and the body cannot function properly the wrong signals are being sent from the brain to the internal organs to and they uh, won't function properly but also the way people are behaving the food that they eat the choices that they make how much they take care of themselves how much they um, really dare to choose the things in life that they feel is in line with their heart's desire. This is so important also for good health. And breathwork and meditation can really help people to again make the right choices in their life, to choose the healthy things in life, both in what they eat and what they do, to take time for themselves to enjoy life and to live healthily. Okay, so therefore uh, bringing on a foundational level again the harmonizing and the healing that uh, can help people so much. So when you would like to become a breathwork instructor it's very important to first get accumulated very much to get uh, known very much with all the techniques and it uh, I teach in the Breath is Life course, one of the, the courses that I teach. And it's only uh, for, for 10 euros or 15 dollars. It's one of the most 
extensive, one of the largest pranayama courses out there uh, on the internet. But I offer it for a price so that everybody can pay uh, if uh, this course if, if they even uh, don't have so much money. And then if you want, you can support to pay more money. That That's all right. But it's important to first do these techniques and really feel like, okay, is this uh, something that um, I can really connect with? Uh, and me as a teacher, do you feel you, you can connect with me as a teacher? Because it's very important as well. And then when you start to feel like, hey, yes, I feel the benefits of these techniques. Then you can choose to carry on to become a breathwork instructor, which is this four week program of intensive breathwork, uh, writing things, journaling things, uh, getting for yourself a clear plan of how you want to become a breathwork instructor in the future, how to teach others, right? So I would highly recommend that. Now let's do a bit of a writing just a short one and a breathing session together to set that intention that if you feel you want to start sharing something with this world and this is something that in the essence everybody wants if they feel connected with their spirit with their heart to feel like okay i want to help others i want to be in the service of others but i don't know how in this way, you can really start to do it. You have a wonderful toolbox here with which you can start to mean something for other people's lives and uh, create a better life for yourself and others. So first, take a little moment to write down. Uh, if you have a pen and paper ready, otherwise think of it, but writing down is really good. What is it that you would like to share with others in their lives? Like, is it something that you want to uh, help others to become happy and healthy, to heal others maybe, to, um, that you found in your own life that you felt um, you needed a certain healing and that you want to help others do that as well? So what is it that you want to uh, help others, that you want to do in your life to create a better world? Write that down for a little moment. And the second question, how did you find that breath work has already helped you or meditation or things like that? How do you felt it has already helped you in your life? So what are some things that you felt like, hey, I feel, for instance, myself, I suffered a lot from eczema when I was younger. And thank God that these wonderful techniques, they have really cured this. Um, but for everybody there is uh, certain different things that it can help so think for about that for a moment what is it did it help you with wonderful now the last two questions if you would decide to pick up this course to become a breathwork instructor. How do you see yourself in about a year from now? If every day you would have been doing a lot of breathwork practices, a lot of meditation, you would have been healing your own emotional, uh, your heart system, and your mind, you would live he uh, healthy and empowered. How would you see yourself in one year from now? Take a moment to write that down. Now, last question. So if you would become a breathwork instructor, how ideally would you want to share this knowledge with others? Would it be on an online platform maybe? Would it be um, helping in your yoga studio with creating, for example, pranayama or meditation and breath for breath for classes? Or would you rather be uh, creating your own retreat center, maybe something like that? So take a moment to think about that, like, okay, how would you see yourself as a breathwork instructor uh, sharing this knowledge with others? And 
just one thing about that more anything is possible friends the mind can either keep you down by saying what you can or cannot do or it can lift you up by recognizing like hey everything is possible you can become anything in this life right so what in an ideal situation would you be doing Wonderful. All right, friends. So what we are going to do now is take a moment to kind of plant a seed that we first do a bit of some nice breath work, nothing too strong, just, just gentle stuff. But then when the awareness is a bit deeper within, or let's say on a higher level, on a higher frequency, we can start to implement a certain intention that we feel like okay how would it feel if you would start to live healthy really every day doing breath work doing meditation if you would feel really connected with your spirit and being able to live in line with what you truly desire if you could start to share this knowledge also with others right good so take a little moment to rotate the shoulders to create some space there Maybe open up the neck also by making big rotations with the neck. In both directions. Turning the head from side to side. Good. I see so many wonderful comments. So many hearts and smileys in, in Namaste hands. Wonderful friends. I see them all. I wish you all really lots of peace and love and wisdom and joy in this life, right? Let's make this world shine together. Now, one more opening up practice with the hands behind the neck, just creating some space here underneath the armpits and the rib cage and the side. Opening up and again the other side. There's some simple stuff to create some space before we do a good breathing technique. And one more stretch out with the arms up. Wonderful. Good. All right. So friends, from a sitting position, what we are going to do is take a couple of deep breaths. And some of you have already done this many times before. What we're going to do this together, this spinal, strong spinal breathing like this, but nice and slow. We're going to do this for three rounds. And in between each round, we're going to take a couple of deep breaths by making it sound like, just like you're, you're, you're emptying. You know when you sometimes yawn and you make <gasps> that yawning? You could do that also. Making it sound like you're really releasing something. And then connecting with slower and slower breath and letting the breath go. Then our awareness goes into, a, let's say, a higher state, a higher level. And then we can start to create that sense like, okay, imagine how you would feel if you would live healthy, empowered, and starting to plan that into your life and you will see if you do that more often you can make such big changes in your life completely all right wonderful friends so from a sitting position just take a little moment if you want you can place the hands together take a couple of calm deep breaths like already setting an intention for this session may this session become a good one and today is the first day of the rest of your life. It's like today we plant a seed to make some good changes. Make a little mini smile. We take a nice deep breath. Let's make some beautiful changes happen and it all starts in the mind and the heart. We're going to work with that. 
Beautiful. With the hands on the knees, we start with an exhalation for nine breaths. We round the spine, then we inhale, it's nice and slow this time. Open up. We exhale, and we inhale. Exhale, and inhale. And like this, for five more. Nice deep breaths. We open up the spine. We open up the heart, the throat. Last two breaths. And after your last full inhalation, you exhale just halfway with the hands open on the knees. And just stop breathing for some time. Just stop breathing for a little moment. Relax the face, like you give a bit of space for the technique to do its work. Let the technique do its work. And for three nice deep breaths, making that it's called a hard opening breath or a yawning breath, however you would like to do it. You take a deep breath in and then oh, you empty from the heart. If there's still some tension, just let it go, let it go. Like this for three deep breaths. Just a little moment to let everything settle. Become aware of your face. Maybe you can loosen up a bit more the face, the arms, the hands. The spine is nice and straight. The rest of the body is open and loose. Let's do this again, friends. Again around. This time we're gonna do 15 breaths. We exhale. We inhale, open. Exhale. And inhale. Nice deep breaths if everything feels all right. Creating space, opening up, unblocking all the systems in the body the energetic system, the nervous system, the blood flow, but also very much the mind and the heart systems. Keep breathing like this for another six breaths. Wonderful. And after your last deep breath in, with the hands open on the knees, you exhale halfway. And you just stop breathing for as long as you comfortably can. But learn to create that space. Also mentally, like, okay, I let everything happen for a moment. I just let the technique do its work. I let life happen. All good. All good. You feel your body, keep it nice and loose. Become aware of the face, the arms, the hands, the belly. Learning to observe it without any judgment, with a state of kindness, a state of peace. And again, for three slow breaths, we connect with that heart 
opening breath. We slowly inhale from the belly to the heart to the chest. We hold for a little moment and we exhale. Ah, long, long, slow breath out. Like this, three slow, deep, long breaths. Smoothening, harmonizing, balancing out. Relax, relax. Take a little moment to prepare for this Last round, if you still feel all right, very slowly breathe, you become for a moment just aware of your body, you become aware of your state of being, you become okay with it, like, ah, it's all right, I feel life happening now, basically, right? Last round, if you feel okay, 15 breaths. We exhale, we inhale, open. We exhale, we inhale. And like this for long, deep breaths, creating some space, opening up. Unblocking, massaging almost on a deeper layer our energetic system. Another eight breaths. Just two more breaths and after your last full deep inhalation again with the hands open on the knees, we exhale halfway, you stop your breathing and you again let the technique do its work in every cell, in every corner of your body. Let everything just happen. Of course, whenever you want to breathe again, you take a nice deep breath in, you let the breath flow for a moment. Letting everything settle. Loosen up a bit more the face. Relax the eyebrows, the lips. Relax the hands. And again, we're gonna connect with some breathing, but this time not so deep anymore. This time more slow. Very slowly you feel the air filling up the lower belly. Then you can slowly breathe in up to the heart. You hold for a little moment up in the chest, not breathing very deep. You make a little smile and on the exhalation, expand out the feeling of it's all right. It's okay. So like this very slowly harmonizing 
balancing out. It's all good. just last three very slow slow calm breaths like this with full awareness you feel you breathe into the body with a higher awareness like feeling like ah, I breathe into the body a bit of kindness a bit of friendliness a little smile I expand it out with the exhalation all good And then for a moment, you can stop breathing. Stop controlling the breath. Your breathing is still happening, but you don't control it anymore. It happens by itself. Just let slow breathing happen like you are observing your own breath. It's just flowing the way it flows. It's all right. Space within, kindness, gentle, observing, letting life happen for a moment. It's all okay, it's all good. Keeping that relaxed awareness. You feel your body. Like you make a little smile at the body, like, ah, that's the body that I have. Feel the breath, whether it's deep or shallow, fast or slow. Like, ah, there goes the flow of the breath. You feel the hands, the face, and you start sending some signals to the fingers and you move a bit the fingers. You keep that relaxed awareness, you move a bit the hands and if you want to move the shoulders and the head as well, that's all good. Now rubbing the hands together, make them nice and warm and place a hand on the belly and a hand on the heart. You breathe a little smile to the belly, to the heart. And now comes that intention setting. Take a moment, imagine if you would every day do practices like this. If every day you would do breath work, if you would eat healthily, if you would live healthily, make all the right choices. How would you feel if you would do this for some weeks, some months, you would feel so much more empowered, so much more connected with life, with God, with creation, that you feel this oneness, this unity, like, wow, wonderful. You breathe it with gratitude. Like, Thank you, life, 
Thank you, creation. Thank you, God. Being able to feel that. Like you smile a bit with the heart, with the head, with the belly. One more time, we rub the hands together. We place the palms over the eyes. You breathe from the belly to the heart, you breathe up to the head. And imagine yourself sitting, living very much in line with your heart desire, living in line with your heart's truth, living healthy, empowered. And like you feel a little smile of gratitude, like wonderful, yes, I can do this. And imagine if you could share this feeling with other people as well. You can share this sense of joy, of life, of connectedness, smiling with the breath. Wonderful, thank you. Beautiful. Give your eyes a little massage. Your forehead going over the body like a little mini massage of kind attention. blessed friends with peace with love with wisdom maybe may we develop peace and love and wisdom within ourselves and we may we be able to shine it out as well to other people's lives friends good Wonderful. So friends, I strongly believe that there is a great, great, wonderful change happening in this world and it goes with a bit of struggle sometimes as well, this change and with a bit of, of uh, sometimes tension or pain even as well, but we can learn to live in, in a way, flow with it and be in this world, but be not really so much part of this world that we realize that you are so much more than just this physical body that there is an inner peace constantly there this connection with life with god and that we can start like that bringing some light into this world bringing some healing into this world that the world needs so much and these changes are all starting to happen people are starting to wake up to this power that they have within the solution that comes from within and i hope you can join with that as well right that you can join in with creating this healing within yourself and in the world as well so friends i would highly recommend to check out the breath, breath is life and breath work instructor course of course on the yoga lab website they will now play a video also and for those of you that are interested uh, there is a coupon code uh, peace and breath peace and breathe sorry uh, it's in the uh, description of this uh, video as well and you have a 15% discount on the course as well so hopefully you can really join that I will now follow a video about this course as well peace love and wisdom friends Breathwork is one of the fastest growing wellness trends and is bringing the healing, connection and empowerment the world needs now more than ever. Breathwork is literally changing the world. More and more scientific evidence is showing how breathwork can help in treating a great variety of illnesses like depression, asthma, eczema, insomnia, stress and even forms of cancer. Become a breathwork instructor and learn how to inspire, connect, heal and support and make a beautiful change in this world. Hello friends, 
Now, a lot of you are already familiar with the wonderful power of breath work and pranayama and the power it has on not just the physical body, but also the mind and the emotional system. I've created a course to deepen your knowledge about this, to learn all about the different breathing techniques, the stronger breathing techniques, the gentler, softer, calmer breathing techniques, but also very much what is scientifically actually happening when you do these different pranayama or breathing practices and what kind of effect does it have on not just the physical body, but also the mind and the emotional system. I've created this course also as a self-development program that in four weeks through journaling, through daily habitual patterns that you implement in your life, you will make a great transformation so that you become a good teacher. Not just teaching out of uh, your mind and scientific knowledge, but out of the heart, out of feeling and being able to share your energy with others and inspire the lives of others. So I hope you can take time to take a look at this course and learn how to tap into the power of mind and heart and share this knowledge with others. The Life Awareness Breathwork Instructor Course is a complete breathwork, pranayama and meditation program. The program consists of two courses. In the first part, one will learn 15 breathing and pranayama techniques, essential meditation techniques, and develop a solid self-practice and understanding of the workings of mind and emotions. The second part is an intensive four-week training program, focused on deepening your knowledge and becoming a great teacher. This part consists of over 75 sessions, 25 articles and brain enhancing audio files for your own practice. You will get five weekly Q&A sessions, advanced breathwork tutorials and sessions, basic and advanced breathwork anatomy classes, a self-development program of journaling assignments, inner wisdom sessions and practical insights to apply into your everyday life. After finishing the course, you will have gone through a journey of inner transformation and have learned all the knowledge to become an inspiring, empowering and true breathwork instructor. Start your training today. Develop the light within yourself and start shining it into the world. These breathing practices have really changed my life. They've given my life meaning, they've given it purpose, they've given it direction, they've given it focus. I'm around breathwork modalities for many years now. And let me tell you, this course is a life changing. Hi, uh, my name is Kerry McCarthy. I have just completed the Breathwork Instructor course um, and I just want to say that uh, it's been a wonderful journey, fabulous experience. I've always been passionate about pranayama. Yeah, it definitely gave me the confidence to teach breathwork and teach it from a place of honesty, a place of experience. And this course has helped me a lot uh, on my journey toward becoming more aligned with who I am and what I want to achieve in life. I suffer from Parkinson's and these courses have aided me greatly in reducing the symptoms. Thank you, Michael. You're doing a wonderful job. Namaste. May I just change the way I do my routines, the way I see things, my perspective. It's been amazing. So and I really recommend this course to anyone. anyone. I recommend this course to everybody. Um, if you are a yoga teacher or if, if you are not a yoga teacher, just uh, for your own well-being. And I can't recommend it enough. Just give it a go. It's, it's just been the most one of the most beautiful experiences that I've had. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yoga Lab. Thank you very much, Michael. Oh, thank you and so much gratitude. Thank you. Now, if you want to get to know yourself better and deepen your connection with yourself and those around you. And